Mains approaching and trust me, it has reached faster than you anticipated or you expected. You are today conscious, you are curious, you are anxious, you are confused, you are tired, you are happy, you are sad. I do not know what kind of feeling that you have got. Probably there is no word for it, What the feeling that you are going through. And if you are going for the first time in mains examination, I am sure you have never had this feeling before. I have seen this all my life, people going through such a stage in their life. In fact, the stakes are big and that makes you little conscious and little uh, kind of all the feelings I was just talking about. I was just thinking about a word, if there's a word exists for this. Uh, but then also I must add it here, you're a bit, a bit tired also, some fatigue may have set in. But then I suppose this is the time when you have to peak and this is the time when you have to really deliver. And uh, quite a few things have not gone as you planned. I mean, that's something which is a very common thing. Almost everybody, almost everybody I at least have interacted with, they had the same feeling that we couldn't do the thing which we initially planned after the PT result. That's a common thing. If it is a problem which is happening to everybody, you should not be bothered too much about that. In fact, uh, 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 there's so many things happening. Uh, like look at the eyes of the people around you. Their expectations have never, never peaked so high. I mean, they, their expectations are so high. I mean, they're looking at you with an expectation that you are the district collector or an ambassador in, in making or, or, or a, a, a SP or whatever that you are looking. They look all looking at you with such high expectations. It has never been there when you're preparing for this examination. That's a big load that I'm sure you're having on you. And uh, when you look at the time and the task, if you look at your own self, there's absolutely no connect between the two. The task is so much that, that there's so many things to be done and the time that you have at disposal is, is very limited. And uh, the last few weeks, I must tell you, have been fastest in your life. And trust me, the remaining days are going to be even faster. They're, they're really, really, really moving very, very fast. And that is something which I must tell you is the backdrop that you are in at the moment. And I'm sure uh, this is not something which is happening to you. It is happening to all the students, all the candidates who are giving this exam mains this year. While you're in this stage, I must tell you there are certain things that you should stay away from. There are certain dawns I like you to remind. And then uh, you have to take it very seriously. First, you should stop taking phone calls from the people. Did you study that? Did you study that? A lot of people keep telling that, hey, I mean, uh, I studied that, a lot of questions came from that source or that, this, this area, or from that segment, from that particular book. Please stop taking calls because this is one kind of thing which is very small but then it adds to only one thing to your confusion, to a lack of confidence. Definitely not it adds to your success because nobody knows that what kind of questions are going to come this year. And therefore, the second thing which I'd like to tell you which is connected with this itself, do not move collecting new informations, new material, new sources, what you have not been able to do in so many months of your preparation. You just cannot do in the last few days that you have got. In fact, you should stop collecting material, new material from, for the areas that you have already mastered or, or have read already. In fact, uh, I would also like you to remind you one thing. A lot of students I see towards the end of this main examination, they start mugging up lots of facts. And then when you're, like, when you're learning and mugging up a lot of facts in short span of time, what happens is the facts start getting mixed up. Like uh, the, 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 the NPA growth rate figures start merging with the export figures and the export figures are merging with the article number and article number is mixing with something else. That's a very crazy thing. Let me tell you, this is not the time that you should be mugging up too many facts at this stage. In fact, whatever you have mugged up, whatever you have been exposed to, just revise them. I can promise you one thing, your skill and the understanding of things are going to really deliver far, far more than the facts that you are mugging up at this stage. Do not mug up too many facts. Some facts, of course, need to be mugged up. Some facts, are, of course, need to be collected. But then I don't want it to be excessively drawn towards that. Let me just and then before sleeping, you are so confused that I have forgotten most of it because you cannot recollect what you had. But if you have the concept, if the perspective comes, those facts are going to come back to your mind. In fact, a lot of people also thinking too much, which is not connected to the present. And then I like you to underline that you should not be doing that. There are people who are uh, thinking too much about the past, the time that they lost. 
the, the, the some place some week some days that after pt examination that you lost a lot of people are almost every day thinking about that you can't do anything about it and trust me it's not only you who has lost some time like that everybody that you are competing with they must have lost some time like that and that's a common thing you should not be bothered too much some people by disconnecting the present they also start going to the future and that's also something which i see i mean they there are people who start thinking about that how to plan for pt next year i have people thinking like that and that's a crazy thing to even imagine for me so please do not disconnect with your present think about the present think of the hour that you have in your hand do not think about the past do not think about the future stay connected to the present and then uh, i suppose a uh, lot of students at and I have received quite a few calls in this regard who are giving me this year. They have been complaining about the scores that they have got in the test series and that has not been something which they are happy. Trust me, when I say, I say with full responsibility. So many toppers I know of this country who have had very bad score in the tests and finally the score that they got in the mains examination, they were far, far uh, beyond what they were actually getting in the test series. And I like you to stop thinking about those bad scores that you may have got and 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 you know that you are smart people you already know that that the the, the people who are evaluating in ups and the people who are evaluating outside are not the same people and it's not that something some score that you got about a month ago or even yesterday is going to be the same that is going to get in the actual examination in fact uh, i have seen uh, those people who have had bad scores even the comments they got in your uh, in their test series that also is there in your mind and keep spending time thinking about that please don't do that those comments those marks they don't really matter i have even had the students who were thinking about the bad decision they made about choosing an option at this stage isn't it ridiculous i find it absolutely ridiculous to think about the optional choice i am sure every optional even if that has got some bad choice that you've got, has somebody who is going to pass from that. Why it can't be you? It should be you. And I think you should be keeping that in mind, that you should not be thinking about that. A lot of people even at this stage, and I think that's again to me, uh, you, 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 you may be one of those. If you, if you uh, think that this is coming to your mind, hey, my handwriting is not good. Is it the time to think about your handwriting? It has to be clear, it has to be legible, and that you can always ensure that. That my grammar is not good, my spellings are not good. A lot of people at this stage think about that. Please do not do that. I have seen pe people with not so great grammar, not so great spelling, getting very high school. They're not as such searching, uh, I would say, an English teacher. So you have to be careful of that. Don't think about that. And then, uh, I, I think uh, a lot of people start cutting down on their sleep or the social well-being. They get cut off from the rest of the family members and the friends. No, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't cut off yourself. You need a ventilation, especially when you are producing so much of uh, negative energy because of hard work that you're doing. You need an exhaust. So your social well-being, your mental well-being is very important and you should not ignore that at this stage. And I think I'd like to underline. And then also, stop reminding yourself of your own weaknesses. I mean, you all have weaknesses. I have weaknesses. Everybody has weaknesses. Who is in this planet Earth who doesn't have a weakness? Everybody has weakness. It is not the time to think about your weaknesses. I suppose these are a few things I wanted to tell you in particular that you have to stay away from at this stage when you are at such a beautiful position, so close to your actual goal and the mains examination is right in front of you, looking in your eyes, and then you should not be doing all these things which I've just mentioned.